Hi, I'm John Landstrom with Blue Moon Cycle here in Norcross, Georgia, and today I have something really neat to show you. This is our Kleinus Kettencroft Rod HK101, also known as the Kettencrad. This vehicle was designed to be delivered airborne by the Junkers JU-52. This vehicle had the advantage of being the only gun tractor that could fit inside the airplanes. What's neat about this vehicle is that it's half motorcycle, half tank. The motorcycle half is up here on the front, and uh, as you can see, it's a girder style front fork, and that's what appeals to the motorcycle riders, is from the front, it actually looks like a motorcycle. But the back end is all tractor. This vehicle was used for the Soviet invasion in 1941, and it was also used in Africa. This model is done up in the African tan model, and it has the palm trees insignia, which would indicate uh, North Africa use. This machine was designed by NSU. It uses an Opel uh, four-cylinder car engine. The amazing thing is this machine will do 44 miles an hour. A lot of people say, well, why does it have a uh, front fork that obviously won't steer the vehicle? And uh, the answer is, they wanted to have a machine that motorcycle riders knew and understood how to drive without a lot of training. And uh, I being a motorcycle rider, I can get in this and drive it without any instruction. It's completely intuitive. It steers by turning the fork, even though the wheel doesn't have an impact on the steering. The other thing is it has a regular twist grip throttle like a motorcycle. It has a foot clutch and it has a hand shift like a car. So it's uh, very easy to drive. You don't have to know how to drive uh, a tank or a tracked vehicle. If you can drive a motorcycle, you can get in this and actually drive it. There was 8,400 of these made and um, very few survived. And those that did, did survive are very rare and valuable today. My job at Blue Moon is to find uh, exotic and rare machinery in Europe and bring it to clients here in the U.S. This is an example of something that we found on special order and uh, as you can see it's uh, quite a unique machine. At any given time, Blue Moon Cycle keeps about 75 antique motorcycles in stock. Uh, these motorcycles range from small 90cc mopeds up to large motorcycle tank-like machines like the Kettencrad here. Cool thing about it is anybody can drive it. It's completely street legal. It's uh, not considered uh, an armored vehicle, so there's no special importation restrictions and uh, if you can afford it, you can own it. Uh, what, what's really great about this particular uh, Kettencrad is its condition. Um, it pretty much looks like it did the day uh, it left the factory to go to battle. And uh, from the paint to the parts to the uh, rubber cleats on the tracks, uh, this bike is, I call it a bike, but this machine has seen uh, an extensive restoration and uh, it's not overdone, that's what I like about it. It's pretty much uh, authentic, uh, the canvas materials, the uh, use of uh, the flat paint, uh, nothing on it is overdone or overstated. It's um, very authentic. There's uh, 60 some plates on this track and every plate has needle roller bearings and rubber seals. Just restoring the track is a huge endeavor. The uh, engine is an Opel four-cylinder car engine, uh, which is owned by General Motors. And uh, the engine and drivetrain is really the least of your problems on a restoration. It's the bodywork, the tracks, uh, the hydraulics, all of that that goes into the restoration that makes these machines valuable and expensive to restore. Okay, we have a Bosch headlight. We have a Norris blackout light, girder type front fork, the fork is actually removable. You can drive it as a track vehicle without the fork, but the fork adds a little stability at speed. Also down here, you, have, you can see the tow hooks for towing. We have rubber cleats on the metal tracks, so it can be driven on asphalt, but of course also very useful for off-road. 
Up on top, uh, just to the rear of the fuel tank, we have the battery tray. It's a standard six volt car battery. Uh, on the back, we have seating facing rearward for two passengers. So it carries a total of three people. Here we have our military blackout taillight, which folds down like so. And this is a uh, electrical outlet for your trailer hookup. We have a swiveling uh, trailer hitch here. Up front we have gauges, uh, speed speedometer, tachometer. Here's your high low range uh, shifter, ignition key, light, light switch position. So you have high low and then you have uh, six speeds forward and you have reverse. Here's the uh, Opel four cylinder engine. Standard downdraft carburetor, liquid cooled. Down below for the feet, on the right side we have the brake. On the left side we have the clutch. And uh, the throttle works through the twist grip on the handlebar. And the steering is actually done by turning the wheel. Turning the handlebars puts braking to the left or right track. I have to say what impressed me most about the Kettencrad was how fast it was. 44 miles an hour top speed. Um, I've probably had it up to 35 and it feels like you're flying. At Blue Moon Cycle we always have a good selection of German Army vehicles, uh, mostly BMW. We have the R75, the R12. Uh, we keep uh, anything interesting that I find when I'm in Europe. Uh, I, I love the military stuff, especially World War II but on after into the 50s. So keep us in mind, give us a call, see what we have, and uh, you, you never know, you may have another Kettencrad.